It's up to IAS now to find... Well, they've got to play a perfect game of Siege to get all three points. They have to at least get two attacking rounds if they want to stay in this one. Yeah, it's going to be tough. And, well, just reminiscing off of yesterday, timeout was called. Rexon hopped onto the Kali, and that is what we're going to be seeing right now to start <laughs> things off. So no you way. know IAS are going to start cooking. I don't If they're going to start winning remains to be seen, but they defo cooking. But Rexon's not the problem. He's, he's doing really well. <laughs> it, it, he's smashing it out of the park, honestly. I don't know. I don't think this is the call bomb. this time round. What does Kali bring you? Yesterday, it was going to be there to counter the clash and to do a lot of the heavy lifting there. Here, you know, Dunlimby did aren't even electrocuting balls. No. Like, this isn't going to do much. It's just for the guns, which is a very strange thing to do. But yeah, we could be sitting here three minutes from now saying, yep, well played, Rex, and good 3K. You know, it, this is the kind mm -hmm. of thing this guy does, and sometimes it just works. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and to be fair, though, if we do, it, it, let's go ahead and actually hop on this bandwagon, right? Because when we take a look at this top floor defense when Dunlimited first showed it to us, they were very keen about playing a lot of light, a lot of long angles. Like, look at the amount of... Uh, remodeling that they have just done to this library wall as well as that fluke wall in towards piano as well it does make a little bit of sense to stick rexton on the sniper rifle and just have him challenge all of these long duels because you'll have people such as hypex playing right on that reinforcement to the left keeping things as neat and tidy as possible but the moment that you throw rexton into the mix things might go south just as they have already gone so within the first 15 seconds as we have to wave goodbye to iwi I was looking at my other monitor. How where, how dare they? How dare they do that? You can't just get an entry kill in the first 20 seconds and expect to pass it to catch. Do it. your job, Jerry. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you're here. Thank you very much. All right, so I am fighting tooth and nail here for this entry, and they have done so. Rexon is holding an interesting angle all the way up here into bathroom. Very smart. Roki takes out kick. Something's working. Yeah. Apparently it's Roki, he's kicked into overdrive yet again. We've got Triff down below to what ends, I'm not exactly sure. Side questing a little bit by himself, and that's completely fine. He's gonna take West Main momentarily, and he has spotted out some kill holes. So now I think they may have at least the suspicion that someone is playing inside of that uh -huh. bathroom. Hop out comes through. Rexon fell off that angle some time ago, and the SPS MG9 wasn't ready to receive Rorik. No, Rorik ready to pounce on. Rexon instead. But Hypex goes down again to Roki, who's just doing bits of his rounds. Apparently, you don't need to take the site. You just need to have the DMR and play downstairs. Trift taking a bit of a beating there as Rorik goes for yet another jump out. But there's no one there this time. Trift has gone down. A player caught in the FNAT mine, but Roki finds a quad in the meantime. All that taken out all up to Rorik now. He has to produce some heroics. And the real question is, can he beat Roki? Never mind Shukar and Joker. He's got this DMR in front of him, the machine, and it's an ace! The first Whoa. of the League of Challenges goes to Roki. What a play coming out from him. We had a whole timeout. We thought that IAS are going to completely try to reinvent the wheel and come up with something better than sliced cheese for this next attack, but it was just <laughs> Roki the entire cheese. team. It was just, you know, Roki, activate, get the ace, done. Long story, I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words, honestly. You just floored me with sliced cheese. You can't hand over to me, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's sliced bread. It's better than sliced bread. That's the same. I mean... Sliced, sliced cheese is horrible. It's only good on burgers. N no, it's not. It, uh, don't tell me you're having, like, sliced Attack cheese on cr or crackers. You can't be having craft singles, like, next to your brie and your cheddar. No, but I mean, don't you make yourself me. a toasty, you make yourself almost any kind of sandwich. And keep in mind, in the Netherlands, right, another reason why I hate Dutch culture, right, I live amongst people that literally eat a piece of sliced toast bread with a singular slice of cheese, and they call that a lunch. Oh, to be fair, we do that as well. We have cheese on toast. Oh, but you, you no. have to, you have to toast it. You, you grill the whole thing, so it's kind of like an open cheese. An open yeah, it's an open face sandwich, right? It's that's like an open grilled fine. cheese. Yeah. yeah, that's that's all right. But just a slice of cheese on toast is a little bit strange. Ten seconds left. That being said, you don't need to tell me. <laughs> we eat cheese on crackers, so that's you know that's a whole. I like cheese on crackers, dude. I freaking grew up with Lunchables. It's the best thing on the planet. Why is cheese on crackers acceptable, but not cheese like? you know, dry, unmelted cheese on toast. But who said it's not acceptable? You're the only person saying it's not acceptable. Uh, acceptable. I love cheese on crackers. But I am an authority on cheese, I'll have you know. I'm saying it's not uh, acceptable. Uh, uh, no, no. 
now. I mean, cheese crackers and, you know, a little bit of cold cuts with a glass of wine, dude. You've got yourself a very solid movie snack. That is a nice, like... Yeah, I, I, I'm in support of cheese and crackers. There you go. Welcome to the I'm, club. What I'm not in support of is toast and just a slice of cheese. Take that up with the Dutch. I've been fighting that battle for as long as I've been here. <laughs> I didn't realize we were on the same side here. We should we should take our fighting. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe we should leave our fighting to one side because Rexon's letting his playing do the talking. Ewe! Out you go. Right between the eyes, like a deer caught in a headlight. Unfortunate. And yeah, Rexon, he's got his eyes set on yet another player. Well, no right, one on the side of Dunlimited wants to fall victim to seeing their name pop up in the kill feed next to a sniper rifle, man. That's embarrassing in a game like Siege, right? Snipers are mm -hmm. supposed to be unviable. In isn't Halo, that, in Counter Strike, in anything else, in Team Fortress 2, you see that thing pop up, you know what? Oh. Completely fine, but in Siege? <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what did I just see? <laughs> Let me zoom in on that. His eyes literally go like, doing out of his head cartoon. Yeah. Style. All right. That's not the scope zoom, that's his eyes. Chukar takes out Rorik in the meantime. Kick still alive, thanks to the Uzi not being a hitbox. Rexon just dropped into sight. He's in! SBSMG M9! This is, he's, he's entered sports mode. The Kali's in sports mode now. Kick finds Chukar in the meantime, but he's got control above. You've lost the sight, man. Oh my goodness. This is oh, no. complete coming up the chaos. Stairs. He didn't check his rear, and Roki's just going to get him entirely for free. IAS, they are back. They're back in the running, and they're now the ones dictating the pace. They're on map point. Okay, so... Um... Remember that thing that you yeah, said yeah. about, oh yeah, Rex and hopping onto the collie will check back in. Yeah, we will. Round seven. <laughs> I'm here writing down Roki 4K on the exact round that Rex and changed to Kali, and now Rex and getting what was that 2K, 3K at least? 2K for sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one in mm -hmm. one in sniper mode, one in sports mode. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> how are they on match point? What a I don't know. What a script flip here. Six five oh. to IAS. Unlimited and wondering how this has happened. Yeah, because they're supposed to be, well, locally one of the best defensive teams. If yesterday's performance on Chalet was anything to go off of, not if just that, they were to go off of those opening three rounds of the second half as well. If you were to go off their performances throughout the last EU stages this time, this year as well, you know, up against BDS and G2, they were barely able to put up a fight on attack, but the defenses looked, you know, up there. It was really good. So. For IAS, <laughs> he's fledgling Hungarian org to, to come out here and just say, nope, done them. We've got Rexon. He plays Kali. You cannot stand to him. It, it's, it's brave. And, and they're about to do it. They may well just ride the high of these round wins to a, a regulation victory. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Stick Roki back on the on the Dokubi. He got an ace with it the, the first time around. Of, uh, <laughs> Roki Doki, <laughs> Raggy! <laughs> I love how I, I say Roki Doki and our, our collective brain just turns into Scooby Doo. Dude, the brain rod is so real in the caster booth. <laughs> oh god, you can tell it's the end of the weekend now. Alright. Yeah. This may well be the final two minutes and 30 seconds that we get to cast over to. So let's make it worth it. Rexon, once again, on his lovely crow's nest up here, looking towards the bathroom. He may be a little bit more patient this time, expecting Rory. Mm -hmm. To get uh, frisky with those windows. He was certainly a bit brave for Fenrir last time, so be wary of that. Kick sitting here on these stairs. He's going to be the recipient of a bombardment of utility. Wow. He's got friends downstairs as well this time to guard against an early entry from Joker. Or from Roki, rather. Watching that window, making sure he doesn't fall foul of it. But Joker is the one to find that frag. They finally empty out all the utility and get a HE connected onto those Solarian stairs. Mm -hmm. That's Solar completely free for the taking right now. And we have also got Trift causing a little bit of chaos from down below, and he has basically displaced everyone. Oh, but no. oh, the challenge comes on through. All set actually made his what? way through, but that was just a distraction because Hypex dueled up with him, and successfully they do take down Trift. But it's a very, very costly mission for them to have gone on. Smart move there by Hypex. It doesn't pay off, but he goes for it. He's going for a brazen oh, run out as well. Doesn't catch the player outside. They're really trying to bring the fight here to IAS. So Rorik is successful in that regard. Takes down one apparently a very nice shot unfortunately we missed it but mm. here comes the hard breach coming out onto the wall gonna be denied as of course the Hibana is already dead anyway so it wouldn't have mattered that 
The gotta find the points, bro. Dropped. Yep, gotta find the points. Gregson locked out here, though. He can open up any of these with the uh, lance that he has. But he's wary of the potential of peak. I mean, every single one of the unlimited players still alive have shown that they want to jump out, they want to peak. He has to be wary of it. Exactly, but down below inside of West Main, it is going to be Joker and Roki in tandem with one another. They each find Hypex and Rorik respectively, and now it's suddenly down to, well, Iwi, who was on the top floor, and with 35 seconds left, it's plenty of time, realistically speaking, for IAS. They will recover the diffuser, work their way all the way back up, and start getting themselves ready to try to stick it to Iwi. He is playing fairly close by. Droned out as well means that he's starting to run out of options. He has to tuck tail and head for the hills. He's getting challenged from basically every single angle known to man. And up the solar stairs, one will ascend. He will challenge. And it will be the F not to just buy him a couple of extra seconds. He does get the bet. Oh! Onto Joker. Onto Rexon as well. The Deagle is whipped out and he finds contact onto Roki. And it is the SMG 12. No, no time. He has to try to stick it. Iwi might find the angle. And it's the Deagle to close it off, Jerry. Done limited. They're still in this. Iwi with a one versus three clutch on match point to take us to OT. Incredible movement from the Azami. Didn't have a keeper barricade to his name. Just ducked and dived out of every engagement he caught himself in. I thought he was a dead man. I can't believe he's done that. What a clutch. He should have been a dead man the entire time. I don't understand how he's managed to get away with that level of daylight robbery. It is ridiculous to see that happen. Very, very well. Big upping on the end. Oh, okay. okay. Rexon, very, very dodgy engagement. Offside, no. re engage. Fat Fingers whips out the camera and he's gonna go back in for seconds. <laughs> ah! He finally gets the job done, shuts down Hypex. It was labor to say the least, but <laughs> that's sometimes what you get. Rory opts to duel as well and he meets his own maker, Rexon. He might just be on his way to, well, breaking Hypex's kill record. Panic. <laughs> <laughs> that was utter panic. <laughs> yeah. Joker takes down Iwi, the hero of last round. And like we say, the Unlimited are not out of the woods just yet. IAS have really staked their claim on this round. At the very least, kick and all set in a two versus five now. With a minute and a half remaining. Calm the nerves, but they're not going to get a chance to. Joker will slam the door shut on kick. It's going to have to all be up to all set in a 1v5. Not opting to go for the Goyo canister. Takes the heads up gunfight. Gets the down, but Roki is there in support. A flawless round to start off the overtime on attack. Dunlimited's Gambit going down to Wine Cellar defense. It's not paid off here. No. It might just be one of the most costly mistakes that they make in a single window. But it will give them a line of sight into Piano in general. The hop out oh. comes from Rex and very nice heads up play. Sensing the pressure on Piano window and going for the play before the play made him. Patches it back up with a keeper barricade after being droned out as well. And Drift has managed to find his way into trophy. It's a this big flag. He takes down one. Rex and finds one in the meantime. And the call oh, hasn't oh. come through. A freebie for Drift. And it's a five versus one. All of a sudden, Whoa. two flawless rounds back to back for IAS. Gets them the OT victory. What a game. What a performance from IAS. They deliver the goods and what I think they've also just delivered already in the second match day of the Rainbow Six League of Challengers is a new kill record. Rexon uh -huh. with a three piece towards the very end within less than 24 hours has already stuck at the Hypex and claimed his crown. That match had literally everything, didn't it? Yeah. Like, absolutely everything. It had the ace that we've been waiting for this whole weekend. We had to wait till the very final game to get an ace. Rexon. Multiple multi-kills throughout the whole game. Double 4Ks in the first half. And topping it off with breaking the kill record held by Hypox set yesterday on Chalet by Dunlimited. Against Dunlimited. I don't think we Absolutely could have asked for much more out of this game overall. I mean, this uh, the second play day, it started off a little bit stinky. It started off a little bit quiet with a nice little 7-1, to but we've gotten to what easily, I think, has been the biggest and most entertaining game that we've had so far over the weekend. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. That was that was so good. And you've got a feel for Dunlimited because they put up so yeah. much of a fight. That 
Mm -hmm. 1v3 clutch from Iwi may well just be the clutch of the weekend. I know we've yeah. seen 1v4s. We haven't seen a 1v5 just yet. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But that 1v3 was just played Crazy. so damn well. Mm -hmm. And you've got to feel sorry for him. Pushing his team to overtime and then to go down like that. Not a single kill in overtime. IAS. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a side that a lot of teams thought, you know, why have they got the invite? What are they doing? This is what we're talking about. This is the quality that they have. Excellent stuff, and I can't wait for them to come up against the ice forces of the leagues, Team Valor, and you know these yeah. slightly bigger, <clears throat> supposedly titans of mm -hmm. the league. When, to be honest, we've got such a great league going here. All of this team, all these teams, seem like they're such on on such a level playing field, and and that's why we've had such entertaining games over the weekend. It, it could not have gone more more swimmingly for a first weekend, Doodles. Yeah, I know it's been absolutely awesome to be part of this project so far and see just exactly how, you know, everyone stacks up in a tier two exclusive environment when you don't have to worry about the T1 Blast teams, when you don't have to worry about a couple of pickup contenders that might just be hopping in for a couple of, um, yeah, some Blast qualifiers or whatever the heck it might be. But this so far has been shaping up to be a really, really good opening weekend. I'm very, very proud with the quality of Siege that we have had over the eight best of ones that we have had so far and i'm so damn excited to see exactly what follows this in the next couple of weeks as am i doodles thank you very much for joining me today i'm gonna to give a massive shout out to nanos who's been doing all of the observation over the weekend as well as epsilon just making sure everything runs so so smoothly doing a great job on production and then our lovely admins backstage who've been doing such a great job thank you very much to ben and rory for the weekend the players as well. You've been absolute stars. Thank you so much for turning up and, you know, giving it your best and putting on a proper show for the weekend. It's not over yet, though, is it? We've still got another five play days of Round Robin to go to next weekend. So do come back for that. It'll be the same bat time, same bat channel. I've been Jerry. This has been Two Doors. Stay safe, Gotham. Bye-bye. <laughs>